I can I can take this one. Um, oh, do I got talking to this? Um, I guess yeah, I can take this one. Um, personally, uh, I I talked to Nick about this as well. Um, I feel like we kind of we, we kind of were hard on ourselves as leaders because this is not the outcome that we wanted in the in a few games that we had, but it was just we had to find a way to stay strong as leaders and try to lead these guys to a victory and. Unfortunately, it didn't happen, but as, a, as leaders of this group, we can't hang our heads too low or we can't be too high at, at times. We got to stay consistent. So I feel like that's what we're working on is staying consistent and making sure everybody, every, every one of our teammates got the leaders to fall on when they need to. I just have a general question. Any of you guys sitting up and now think you'd be here asking, answering questions about I don't think anyone saw it coming, to be honest with you. I don't think anyone saw it coming, and why not? Uh, because I thought, I thought we as players would execute better and perform better, and we haven't. And that's on us as players. But uh, yeah, I would answer for all of us that we're all shocked and none of us thought we'd ever get in this situation or at this point in the season. I think he's completely right on that. I mean, after. Uh, after the game, I got a question. I said that as players, you just got to execute better. Um, so I, I think Torch hit the nail on the head on that one. I mean, that's all we were, all, the, all that we were focused on. So yeah, I'd, I'd say we were shocked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, I'd say an initial first day, I was shocked. Uh, I mean, obviously, I got a great relationship, and I mean, I can speak for for anybody that's played under coach or coached with him. I mean, just the type of man he is, it's the guy that you, you want to play for. I mean, um, he's so down to earth, and uh, he always wants the best for his players. So, um, I mean, obviously, I have a great relationship. We'll forever have a great relationship with him. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm focused on this group up here and the team down in the locker room and getting us ready to go. So, that's where I'm putting my, my energy towards. Um, I think for for a lot of guys, um, you know, obviously the situation is not easy, um, and nobody wanted uh, to see to see Coach Chris um, go. So I think uh, for me personally, um, it's fuel. You know, like Torch had mentioned, um, it's it's really on us. Like you know, we didn't execute, um, we didn't play the, the football that we needed to play, um, and you know that this is a. Uh, um, consequence of that, so I guess moving forward, you just kind of got to use it as fuel, um, like Coach Leonard had said, and um, just kind of put your head down, keep moving forward. We still have a goal, um, and you know this doesn't this doesn't change our goal by any means. You know it's um, just got to be the same thing moving forward. Yeah, Nick, you're one of the guys up here who has played for Coach Leonard. You know, he's been your head coach, so to speak. If someone were to ask you. Why should we have confidence that Leonard's going to be able to help turn this around? What would you say having played for him? Um, <clears throat> I mean, I wouldn't say he was my head coach. Uh, coach Chris has been my head coach since I stepped foot on this campus. Um, he's, I mean, he's a mentor. He's one of my best friends. He's a guy I look up to. Um, I know all the guys in the locker room miss him. All the coaches miss him. Um, I know he's been a, a mentor for Coach Leonard as well. Um, and. Coach Leonard just taking over uh, and kind of just reiterating that this is still, we're still playing for Coach Chris. Like, this is still his team. We're still his guys. Like, he still loves us. We still love him. Um, but, I mean, at this point, we just need to put all our energy and focus on Saturday. Coach, but just on the defense side of all, his understanding of X's and O's, his schematic knowledge for football is pretty impressive. I'd probably say it's second to none in the country. 
and then uh, just, just great leader. Guys on this team respect him, so I think that's what makes him a good coach. And then as for head coach, obviously I haven't seen that yet, so I can't comment on that. said to us in the room, in my opinion, should stay in, in the room, so that's what I'd answer. Yeah, I mean, I think that, uh, you know, we have kept up trust in, um, you know, our leaders here, um, so obviously all of us, uh, you know, love Coach Chris, um, but, you know, we trust um, our leadership to make uh, decisions that put us in position as good athletes. Yeah, I mean, I think that uh, kind of any anytime you go through something in life, you kind of gotta take a step back and then figure out what happened, and then it's how quick can you move forward. And I mean, all the guys at this table, um, it, it's our job to lead this team right now. And uh, so yeah, I mean, it took a day to process it, um, talk to coach uh, Coach Chris a little bit, and then it, it moving forward. I mean, that's our that's our motto forever forward here. Um, and that's what I'm focused on. Um, all that's on my mind right now is winning. What do you expect for practice this week? I don't know if anything would change. You really don't know much about Jim and what you might want to do. So I know you can't change a lot of things you want to. So what do you expect? How would your leadership fit into whatever it's going to be? Yeah, I mean, whatever the coach is put in front of us, um, I'm going to execute to the best of my ability and, and push the guys to do that. Um, I'm, I'm not going to share any game plan specific stuff for this week um, but yeah I mean there's, there's some new stuff um, but it's, that's, that's for us to know. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to steal that. I, I think that that's a, that's a personal thing for everybody on this team. I mean I don't think we need to share that with that communication. I mean, that's that's, that's our that's our dog, man. I mean, that's that's one of the, the guys that he gave everybody here an opportunity um, to go fulfill your dreams. And I mean, we we all know him at such a deep personal level that I think we should keep it keep it that way. Yeah, yeah. This has been an emotional season. I think even before what happened you know, with Coach Chris, did you guys have to guard against coming out on Saturday? Yeah, and, and I feel like that's what this week has been about. Um, Coach Leonard has not failed to reiterate to us that when we're away, you can grieve, you can do what you need to do, but when you're in between those lines, you got to focus. So I feel like our guys are have done a great job of that these past couple days, and we, we hope to bring it into Saturday as well. I mean, I, I could, I could just say, like I said earlier, me, me and Nick talked about this, and um, specifically it was me, Nick, and Rodas on the call, and I kind of blamed myself a little bit for I don't know if I wasn't being too hard on guys or if I wasn't trying to execute the the game plan to perfection as much or what, whatever the case may be, and I kind of started blaming myself, but. Um, it, it's, it's the guys, the players that kind of bring up leaders sometimes even when we get down and that's what Rodas did. He, he helped me to tell me like I've been leading great. I've been a great leader to these guys and keep doing what I'm doing. I, I, I can't change anything about the past. So I feel like that's, that's kind of where we're coming from right now. Yo, can I say something? Like that? Yeah. I mean, I, th I think, and you guys all have families, right? Um, I, I don't think it's, Anytime you go through something as a family, I mean, you, you all feel responsibility. I, I don't think that this should at all fall on anybody, any one person's shoulders. I mean, I think that's why this group is, is upset. And um, I think that's fair. I think you have to feel that after something happens like that. But 
I mean, I, I think we all have, have a sense of, oh, I could have done this better. And I think that's what we need to turn into fuel to move forward. And I think that's what Coach Leonard has done a great job of uh, day one coming in and saying is, is we need to be better and, and how, instead of just saying we need to be like, you need to frickin' attack it. And I mean, I, I think, yeah, there is a sense of responsibility, but it, it's across the board. And we're all, we're all figuring out how to do our job better. And, and we will figure that out. I'm um, completely confident. Time for one more. <laughs> Thank you. Is this for anybody? You guys all have uh, aspirations to take the question here, obviously. I can answer first. In my mind, I've, I've always known it's a business, right? Obviously, and obviously, this is less of a business than the NFL. But I mean, I've never been up close and personal to it. So I think, and I don't think any of us have, right? We've never been to really a big coaching change like that. So it's a little, sh a little shocking, a little, a little step back. But yeah, it's a good reminder that it is a business, and there's bigger things at stake besides, you know, when we come in every day to play football. Yeah, um, it was pretty tough because obviously, um, you know, like uh, a lot of guys said, Coach Chris gave us our opportunity here. Um, you know, it's, uh, personally, it's my dream. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, we have a lot of really good coaches in this building. Um, we still have a really good team um, that I think if we perform the way we can, um, can really string things along together uh, down the stretch. And I think the biggest thing for us is understanding that, uh, you know, we have a job to do still. Coach Coach Leonard has done a good job reiterating that. Um, I think we had a good week of practice so far, so I'm excited to just uh, get after it this weekend and uh, get ready for that.